the Adventure Aquarium, and the penguins know it's feeding time. The three new African black-footed chicks come first. These little guys get a diet of squid and capelins and sardines. I'm going to uh, pretend basically that I'm the mom. I'm going to pretend that this is her beak. After each one is hand-fed, it has to be weighed. Ready, little man? Finished with the penguins, it's off to some much bigger animals, the seals. Buckets are filled with herring, trout, capelin, and squid. Well, this is Kieshi, the female gray seal. Jeff Kaycad says the seals must be fed two to four times a day. And while the animals can't read, each one recognizes a symbol and will come to that symbol when they see it. When Kia comes to the edge, Jeff and I give her a visual inspection. But they do, in fact, have fur. We check the fur, we check the nails. We even brush Kia's teeth. To get her to cooperate with that teeth brushing, you have to get her to open her mouth. Yeah. Hold your hand kind of like this, like this, and go like that. There she goes, showing oh, okay. off her teeth for you. All the animals have to practice the tricks they've learned. To my right, Michelle Pago gets her two seals to kiss. All the tricks are cued with hand signals. Okay. Take your left hand, go like this. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Move Kia can rub her like, chest. Like Kia can good. jump like a porpoise. Kia can roll good. like a barrel. That is good. And Kia can make a noise when you ask her. Good, Kia. Kia and I hit it off right away. We made a great team, which leads me to ask the question just who was training who on this morning when I fed the penguins and the seals at the Adventure Aquarium. You can call that the seal of approval, I guess. We'd like to know what you do for a living to see if we can try our hand at it. So come to our website, NBCPhiladelphia.com. Click on Take This Job, and who knows, we could see you at work.